Sit down. Don't forget to close the door behind you. Comfortable? Good. You're on time, at least. Although in the future, I'd advise that for important conversations like this, you'd be more reserved in your choice of clothing. You want the attention to be on what you're saying, don't you? Not anything else. Good. No. I'm sure you know why you're here today. Oh, so you don't know. Well, when was the last time you checked your grades? You've been avoiding it, have you? I would have avoided it too if I'd known what was coming. Another semester with failing grades. Yes, failing again. <sighs> I'm sure I don't need to tell you that this doesn't bode very well for your future at this institution. Even as the head, there's very little I can do for you. Now, of course you don't want to leave. No one wants to be expelled, but you knew the rules when you started here. And grades like that for two semesters in a row? As I said, the rules are very clear. I'm afraid my hands are tied. Oh yes, I'm sure things will be a little challenging for you once you're a dropout. But you got yourself into this situation. You're going to have to live with the consequences. You're very persistent, but if you wanted to stay, darling, you should have worked harder. And if hard work wasn't enough to save you, then... You didn't belong here to begin with. Another chance. <laughs> Why should I give you another chance? You've already had two. I don't know if I believe you, young lady. You've demonstrated for the past year that you're incapable of putting in the work. Honestly, I don't believe that academics have ever been your primary interest on this campus. What do I mean? I mean that when a, a student here gains any kind of reputation, I hear about it. And yours? <laughs> well, you're certainly not known to spend your Friday nights studying. Or any other night, for that matter. Well, everyone needs to have a little fun, but the kind of fun you were having... <sighs> hmm. It was very distracting to you, wasn't it? Yeah, of course you're saying you'll change. Anyone would say that, but you... Well... I seriously doubt that you would keep your word. And it's obvious why I think that, isn't it? Just look at the skimpy little outfit you elected to wear today. A short tank top and an even shorter skirt to a meeting with the head of your college. Your entire existence is based around Well, let's just call it, let's call it fun and leave it at that. And even if you did manage to turn everything around, I'm afraid that for you, it's just too late. Weren't you paying attention? You've already managed to do so poorly that you're not going to get another chance. Hmm. 
Let's say I did somehow work out a way for you to stay. What would you do? Really? How would you show me that your presence here benefits this institution? How would you prove that you have any value to me? Coming up short? Hmm. I'm beginning to understand why you wanted to draw attention away from your words. Clearly, they won't be providing me with anything of substance. I don't think I haven't noticed the way you've been leaning over my desk either. You're not at all subtle. <laughs> don't pretend it was an accident. It was very intentional, wasn't it? Of course it was. If I were to guess, I'd say that you're used to charming your way out of difficult situations. I'm sure you've been very successful, haven't you? Waltzing through life, flaunting your pretty body to make sure you got exactly what you wanted. But here, that finally stopped working, didn't it? And now you're going to be sent home for good. And there's nothing you can do about it. Huh? <laughs> oh, you... You'll do anything, will you? Why don't you elaborate on that for me? Go on. I'm waiting. Oh. Say that again. I'm afraid I might have misheard you. You think that'll get you out of trouble? You do. Hmm? You're very confident. But what if I don't even give you that chance? You were practically begging for me to let you prove yourself before. I think you should do it again. Go on. Say please. Try again. Beg me. <laughs> <laughs>